Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to tie the boa knot. The boa knot, as you can see here, is a binding knot. This means that we use it to attach a rope onto an object, perhaps a rail, or to bind objects together. In any case, the most important aspect of a binding knot is that it is secure. Secondly, that it is fairly easy to tie. The boa knot is quite good in both regards. It is fast to tie and it is secure. Even though the boa knot is a simple and fast knot to do, it takes a bit of getting used to before you can tie it with confidence. This is why I made this video and I hope it's going to help you out. With this said, let's tie a boa knot. To tie the boa knot, take a piece of cordage, make a loop, so a simple loop, create a second one exactly the same way, like this, and place the second loop over the first one, like this. Grab your strands, so that you have one end to each of the sides, so one to the right, one to the left. Spread apart your loops a little bit, like this. Make sure that the strands are lined up. We have three strands at the bottom, two at the top. Now what we're going to do is twist these loops. So grab this right part, twist it, Like this. So basically we get a figure 8. Now what we're going to do is take an object. We're going to place the left loop over the object. Then travel over this crossed section with our object. Then place the right loop over the object as well. Like this. Now slowly tighten up the boa knot and make sure that the strands stay lined up as they did at the start. So they shouldn't slip out. Like this. Now switch the two ends. So the top one goes to the bottom. The bottom one goes to the top. And tighten up a bit more. At this point, your boa knot is tied. Inspect the back side of the knot. It shouldn't have any crossed strands. So this is a properly tied boa knot. The twisted sections, three of them should be here at the middle point where the diagonal strands meet up. So they are hidden from sight and you get a nice looking knot. If we take a closer look at the tightening process, we're going to be pulling on the two working ends. The goal here is to have these outer strands, so a pair on the left and a pair on the right parallel. We don't want the outer strand to cross over the inner one on either side. So slowly, 
very slowly tighten up like this then spread apart the two ends so the top goes to the bottom the bottom one goes to the top turn around and keep tightening now the strands are going to line themselves up if you did this correctly Again, you inspect the back and the front of the knot to see that everything looks okay. Sometimes after tying the knot, you're going to find some crossed sections at the back of the knot. This is not a huge deal and all you need to do is dress the knot a little bit. So what you do is Place this crossed section like this, so that the strands are parallel, and inspect the knot. Tighten it up a bit, and the goal here is to have these twisted sections under these parallel sections. So the twisted sections are hidden out of sight. So you always tighten up with this in mind. So here again, you're going to want to hide the twisted section here under the parallel ones. Keep tightening and hiding the sections. The goal is always to have neatly parallel sections at the back of the knot. That's all we're doing. So guys, that's it for the BOA knot, a simple practical knot which has a lot of applications. Remember to practice it a bit so that it stays in your mind when you're going to need it. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you next time.